I lost 17 kilos in the last year and in this video I'm going to share with you how I did it in a healthy way hey guys welcome back to my channel it's been so long and i'm so sorry but i was so busy with work i started a new job and a lot has changed in my life lately but i really hope that i can pick making videos up again because i absolutely love to make videos and i also like to stay connected so from now on i'm gonna start making videos again so expect me to be back <laughs> today i want to talk about weight loss and how i lost so much weight in the last year i used to weight 69 kilos as of last year back then i was so unhappy with myself when i looked in the mirror i couldn't recognize myself i didn't like myself on pictures i didn't like myself when i look back at the videos that i was editing i knew that i had to change um so that's what i did and now that it's october it's nine months ago that I weighed 69 kilos. As of yesterday, now I weighed 52 kilos. So that's minus 17 kilos. And I'm super proud of myself. And if you're in a weight loss journey as well, I know how hard it is. So that's why I want to make this video today to share all my tips and tricks so you can do it as well. Because if I can do it, you can do it too. But before I share my tips, just remember that I am not a weight loss expert and this video is only about how I lost the weight. So if you need professional help, please go to a doctor or a GP, but don't use my videos as medical advice. Now that I've said that, let's start with the first tip. So the first thing is making a weight loss plan for yourself. So first of all, it's really important how to lose a weight. So set your goal first, how much you want to lose. For example, back then, I was 69 kilos and I wanted to weight 59 kilos. So for me, my goal was to lose 10 kilos. If you know that you want to lose 10 kilos, it's important to understand how to get there. You have to know how much calories equals one kilogram of weight or fat. One kilogram of fat equals 7,700 calories so the 7700 calories times 10 means i had to eat 77,000 calories less for me to lose that 10 kilos of weight so knowing that i had to eat 77,000 calories less to lose a 10 kilos i could calculate in how fast i wanted to lose the weight it's really bad to lose weight super fast and to starve yourself so it's more responsible to lose up to two kilos per month. So then I wrote down for myself how much I would weigh after each month. So in this case, I started at 6th of December last year. And back then I was exactly 69 kilos. So then I made a list for myself how much I should weigh at the certain date. So at 6th of January, I should be at 67 kilos. And then on the 6th of February, I should weigh I should weigh 65 kilos and then so on so on until I hit the 59 kilo goal and in this way I have a clear list of when I should weigh how much and now that you have this whole strategy set up you can look into specific months so if you want to lose two kilos every month it doesn't sound that much but it's actually pretty hard because it means that you have to eat 15,400 calories less every month to lose only two kilos of weight so those 15,000 calories divided by 30 days so every month means that you have to be in a calorie deficit of around 500 calories every single day and writing this down really helped me to visualize what i want and how to get there because i finally understood how to lose weight and breaking it down into each day of having a calorie deficit of 500 calories a day made it really clear for myself what to do every single day i know that it may sound a little bit complicated if you have never done this before so if you really want to make this plan and you don't know how to write it down i can also make a template for you if you're interested so please let me know in the comments down below if there are any interested people there are a lot of templates already but if you want me to make one for you just 
let me know in the comments and I'm gonna make it for you. So now that we have this plan set up on paper, it's really important to know what you're working with. So I bought a smart scale so I could not only weigh myself, but I could also see the percentage of my body fat, visceral fat, subcutaneous fat, how much protein I had, my BMR and so many more. So I could see exactly what my body was made of and what I could work on. The smart skill that I'm using is linked in this video down below so you can check it out. Now that we have a plan set up and we have a smart skill, let's talk about food. I know it's really annoying but when I started losing weight I started to count my calories and this really helped me to see how much I was eating because most of the time when you guess without counting your calories you think you eat less than you actually are eating and in this way you're not losing weight and you also don't know why but it's because you're eating too much so you need to know exactly what you're eating in order for you to lose weight and of course you don't want to starve yourself or feel hungry all the time so first of all let's start with proteins proteins are super important because they keep you full and they help building your muscles. When I just started losing weight, I used to eat two times my body weight of protein in grams per day. So when I was 69 kilos, I almost ate 140 grams of proteins each day. And it really helped me to keep me full. And it also helped me to not to lose my muscles instead of my fat. So for example, you can eat chicken breast. One piece of chicken breast almost contains 50 grams of protein. So then you already have a lot of protein by eating one piece of chicken breast. Next to that, I also eat quark or protein rich yogurt. That really helps me to boost my protein. I sometimes also eat protein bars or I drink a shake. It's actually not super necessary if you're already eating super healthy. But sometimes I like to eat it when I'm super hungry and I don't know what to eat. So that also helps you with your protein intake. Because most of those things contain 20 grams of protein. And then you already have some more protein. And besides all these things, I would just focus on enriching your meals with a lot of protein. So instead of eating a lot of carbs, you could eat shrimps or fish or edamame beans it also contains a lot of protein tofu tempeh all these protein rich things will keep you healthy and it will also keep you full so it's super helpful during your weight loss journey and then besides eating high protein a lot of vegetables i was also focusing on eating less carbs because when i was 69 kilos i remember i used to eat a whole can of pringles like in one sitting and then after that i still used to eat dinner and it was like heavy pasta with cheese so it was really extreme and because i also didn't exercise that much it was just all stored in my body so to undo that i focused on eating not much carbs at all most of the carbs that i ate was from fruits because it contains sugars and a little bit of maybe sweet potatoes or rice crackers and rice crackers really help me losing weight instead of eating a slice of bread or a bagel i eat two rice crackers and then i put avocado on it and tomatoes and it's actually so nice because one rice cracker only contains maybe 29 calories so it's almost nothing then the next thing that i did to lose 17 kilos is intermittent fasting so intermittent fasting really helped me to reduce my eating window and it also helped me to have internal balance and in this way my body could also rest longer i use this app it's called zero it's not sponsored i also use the free version but it helps me track when i'm eating and when i'm not eating it looks like this it's just a timer now i'm not eating so now i haven't eaten for 18 hours but it's actually not true yeah it's actually not true because i ate something after i started the timer but it doesn't matter so i haven't eaten for around 18 hours and you can set your goals here so it's really small here you probably can't see it at all but here it says 16 hour goal i think that's also the most popular one to do 16 hours of fasting and a eight hour eating window and here you can also see um, average time of how long you're fasting every single day every time i start eating i open the app and then i turn off the timer so my eating window starts and when i'm done with eating i 
open this app again and then I start my fasting and in this way I can see exactly how long I'm eating and how long I'm fasting I strive to fast every single day for at least 16 hours but sometimes it's really hard when you're out with friends you're going out for dinner or you're doing something fun or having a drink on those days it's completely fine you don't need to be super strict on yourself but after having a cheat day like that it's really important to pick your routine up again because losing weight is not just for this amount of time it's a lifestyle that you have to keep up in order to stay this way because if you redo all your bad habits again after you reach your goal you're gonna go back to that old weight and we want to stay on our goal weight so it's important to keep your routines so now that we discussed a few things about my weight loss journey i'm gonna share something really smart that i just learned recently and that's the order in how you eat your foods so for example now when i'm about to eat after making this video it's important not to eat carbs or sugar on an empty stomach especially if you're fasting for a long time so i always start with or a salad or quark or some fast like avocado or nuts it's also really healthy as well because like i said carbs will turn into sugar in your body and if sugar is the first thing what you eat in the morning it's really bad because your blood sugar will peak and if it's crap after the peak you're gonna start to feel hungry again and in this way being in a calorie deficit is gonna be really hard so the main goal is just to keep your blood sugar as flat as possible even during your eating window I'm doing this by first eating proteins um, fats um, and fibers before I eat carbs like uh, fruits or bread or something else like pastries if I still want to eat it I make sure that I have a little foundation in my stomach with all the good stuff and then after that I will eat all the carbs and this way you kind of make a bed in your stomach so the sugar won't go directly through your stomach into your blood I think this is a really easy hack just eat all the good things first and then if you're still craving some bad stuff it's okay to eat it but then just eat it after that and then lastly the most important thing that has changed is actually my mindset when i was overweight i actually didn't believe that i could actually lose so much weight i didn't believe in myself i was insecure and i didn't feel good in my own skin and once i looked in the mirror and i couldn't accept anymore that i looked like that something just switched in my brain i think that moment was half of all the work that i put in because that was the only thing that kept the discipline in myself to keep on with this because we have to be honest it's it's quite hard to lose weight especially if you're already in the habit of eating a lot it's it's hard to feel hungry and it's hard to like it's hard to make changes in your life but how i look at it is that I pick my own fights. So for me, it's on one side, it's a fight to see myself every single day and not being happy with what I see. Or another fight is not to be able to eat everything I want and feeling hungry. And for me, feeling hungry is really painful because I used to have nights that I couldn't fall asleep because I was so hungry. But I feel like it's not as painful as looking at myself in the mirror and being so unhappy about it and going into a store and not fitting the pants. Those things hurt me more than having the discipline to lose the weight. And in this way, when I was comparing it with each other, I just feel like losing the weight is just so much worth it than just eating and comforting myself with food and that's also how i got to my goal you don't have to have the same exact motivation but find for yourself why you want to lose the weight so bad and once you have your own reason you will find out that it will be much easier to stay disciplined and to hit your goal weight so that's the video guys i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching my video all the way through i really appreciate it don't forget to subscribe to my channel let's go to the 4,000 subscribers together like this video share it with your friends and family and that's it i will see you in my next video bye